All right, I want to show you how to self-register for the Torah University Moodle site. Um, what you'll do is you could click on the login here or any of the classes that happen to be listed on the site. It won't matter um, because they will all take you to the same uh, next screen. So I'm just going to click on this one, which happens to be the first course in our program. All right, once I'm here, since I don't have uh, a login already, I need uh, a a first time creation here so is this your first time here and of course it is yes um, you, this basically tells you what you're doing is you're registering for use of the site and the way you do that is you'll click on this link that says new account okay so I'm gonna click on new account I'm gonna put in a username um, the username is going to be the username you would use when you actually um, log into the class now. So you're creating your own username and I would recommend using some kind of form of your real name. Okay, And then uh, the password, I'm going to unmask it so I can actually see what it is as I type it in so I make sure I type in what I want to type in. Um, you can do this however you like use whatever favorite passwords you like it does not matter as long as it fits this criteria right here the password has to have at least eight characters at least one digit at least one lowercase letter or letters at least one uppercase letter or letters and one at least one alphanumeric character and what that means is uh, like a period or an underscore or something like that now this is what I typically use um, I'm going to make it JJ and then capital W A L so again it's a variation of my name again you can do whatever you want I'm gonna put in a period and that would be my one alphanumeric non alphanumeric character and then I'm just gonna put in 2011 and that is a legitimate password okay then you gotta put in your email address because what's gonna happen is um, as soon as we say create account it's going to send an email notification to you this to the email address you list here uh, that you'll have to click on to activate the registration as soon as you do that you're in the system and active okay so I'm gonna click on or I'll choose my interact and of course you gotta type again to make sure you type it right and of course you're going to want to put in your real first name that you go by um, so if your first name is uh, Donald but you go by Don put Don in um, if you want to put in um, if your first name's Harold and you go by Harry uh, whatever it is be that becomes important whenever we're responding to you um, we will often want to use the name you're comfortable with so if you never go by uh, Harold and uh, we're always responding to you as that uh, it just makes it more convenient if we use a name that you commonly that you're that you use and you're comfortable with so my first name and my last name and Las Vegas and it's already defaulted to US so I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna look it over real quick make sure I did everything right if anything is wrong like you accidentally don't type the emails right it will come back and it'll tell you you need to fix it so I'm gonna say create my account and there it's telling me an email should be sent to the email address that you put in uh, it contains easy instructions on how to fulfill so I'm gonna say continue and then I'm going to pull up my uh, interact email it should be there within the hour anyway as soon as it pops up you'll be able to click on it and activate it and I'll show you how to do that here as well alright as you can see then I got my email and my interact account that was automatically generated from uh, filling out the request uh, for registration you can see here that the link if I click on it, it's although it's not got the blue link, I'm getting the, the see how the uh, cursor changes to a, a pointy icon. If I click on it, it should go ahead and open up um, a new window and take me right back to the Moodle site to confirm that uh, this was uh, something I intended to do. If if that doesn't work, you can see here uh, you can always select this and right click copy 
so you'd actually have it uh, to paste into a, a browser window as well. Let's just try clicking on it. You see when I mouse over it, it turns from um, the, um, uh, the this this icon into the hand. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And there it did. It popped up my web browser. It says, thanks to JJ Walker, your registration has been conform confirmed. But if I go ahead and hit courses, um, you know you're going to to uh, look for that first technology class and here is the online fall technology Microsoft Office 62090 is the first course in in the technology program so I'm gonna click on that and it says you're about to enroll yourself as a member of this course are you sure you want to do this you say yes and you are now officially enrolled as soon as it's done thinking in the course and you can see the home page of the course Okay, if you run into any questions or problems with this, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks.